Hi, and thanks for joining us. You know, we really are spoilt for choice when it comes to country day drives through the great southeast, but the options are a little slimmer if you want to take along the beloved family pet. Augie and I have just stopped for a break on our day drive through the Brisbane Valley. Later, we'll be popping into some attractions where four-legged visitors are as welcome as their well-behaved masters. Isn't that right? Meantime, Liz meets some four-legged friends of her own. Oh. Champs has a super pass to the Sunshine Coast's best attractions, and Brian learns about the business leaders who helped make Queensland what it is today. Rolling green hills, brilliant blue sky, and absolute peace and quiet. It's something you'd expect when you're visiting the scenic rim, but there are a few things on this particular property that you might not expect. You could be mistaken for thinking we'd entered the kingdom of far, far away. Although you won't spot any ogres roaming these parts. At Destiny Boona, just over an hour's drive west of Brisbane, there are some very interesting characters of the donkey variety. They're cheeky. Yeah. Started eating they, my they food. They are cheeky, <laughs> and that's why I have them. They're <laughs> different, you know? The woman behind this quirky holiday retreat is German-born Heike McBeal. She and her friendly herd have called this place home for eight years. The eco cottages we have, that helps us to sustain the donkey farm, which is active in donkey rescue, welfare and education. And as part of that education, Heike holds fortnightly group sessions in her Ask Questrian Centre. <laughs> If people want to learn more about donkeys or just want to, want to do something different and they love animals, they come for a day visit. I talk about the donkeys, what they have done in the past, the history of the donkey, which is very important, because they were actually the very first domesticated animals helping us humans. And Destiny Boona has a homegrown celebrity. We, we just took um, our Henry, our donkey Sir Henry, to the Gold Coast. It was the very first war animal memorial um, in, uh, in Queensland. I thought donkeys were a nice touch, but a camel on a donkey farm? This is not a <laughs> camel, it's a donkey with a hump. All she right. doesn't know she's a camel, okay? <laughs> She's so soft. Queen Sheba and her posse are happy to share this beautiful property with guests. Across the 200 hectares, there are dedicated walking tracks just waiting to be explored. But if a close encounter with nature on foot isn't quite your thing, Hiker also offers a one hour wildlife tour on a four wheel drive buggy the only vehicle allowed loose on the property. Liz, can you see the kangaroo over there? Yeah. That's actually an Easter grey kangaroo, and that's Mum with her joey, and behind them, that's the whole family. According to Hiker, the wildlife encounters are second only to the scenery. Beautiful views to the whole great dividing range, you know? Wow. Oh, it's Amazing, absolutely amazing. And it looks so different every day. Those olive trees look amazing from up here. Yeah, in this region here we grow a lot of olives. So that's an olive tree plantation, very nice. Over there, this you can see Mount French. Uh, very popular. To help lower hikers' carbon hoof print, she opted for two stunning eco-friendly cottages. They're fully self-efficient, powered by solar panels and wind generators. Thank you. My <laughs> pleasure. Chauffeured right to the front door. Time for cover tea with a view. You'll find Destiny Boona Eco Cottages and Donkey Farm at Wallace's Creek, just five minutes from Boona in Queensland scenic rim. A stay in the Red Cottage starts from $180 per night for four people, although it does sleep up to seven. There's also the Green Cottage, ideal for couples or a family of four, from $120 for two people per night. There's a minimum of two nights stay. 